Hi, welcome back to Plant Life Project. Well, I've been wanting to make this nano riparium video for a while now, and I finally made it happen. I hope you enjoy it. The container that I'm using for this project is a two gallon Anchor Hawking glass jar. For the substrate, I decided on Fluval Stratum Aquasoil as a base layer capped with pea gravel. I sloped the gravel upward toward the back of the jar to help create depth and to make sure the driftwood will sit at the appropriate level. The driftwood is actually smaller pieces that I glued together to make it look like a stump or a gnarled root mass. I set stones of varying sizes and colors somewhat centered in the jar. This will also help the driftwood sit at the right level and creates a good contrast between the wood and the stone and it is sitting at just the right level to act as a pedestal for some riparian plants. I decided to add an old seasoned tree branch for the plants to grow on as they get taller and I secure both pieces of the wood to the rim of the jar with super glue. Earlier I cut out a piece of neoprene mat for the jar to sit on and I get everything set up and placed like I want and begin filling the jar with water and start getting the plants in place. I set the largest plant in first, the Monstera adansoni. This was a cutting that I rooted and has been growing in a stock tank out in the greenhouse. Next I put in pearlweed, java moss, and Brazilian pennywort that I want to grow on the surface attached to the driftwood. Guppy grass will grow further down to provide vegetation around the submerged portion of the driftwood. I add marimo moss from another tank to the setup. Sometimes when adding the moss balls, they have a tendency to float because they get air trapped inside of them. But if you squeeze them underwater, it gets the air out and allows them to sink. And finally, it's time to add the Tradescantia and spider plant, both of which are cuttings that will root in this setup. I add a few oak leaves as a source of beneficial tannins that will slowly leach out and make the water slightly darker over time. I wait until the following week to add the betta. The water is still a bit cloudy, but it will clear up as the system balances out. And as always, when setting up a new project, I will be sure to test the water daily over the next week to make sure the water parameters remain stable. I really like the way these three riparian plants look together. There's enough contrast between colors and leaf textures for each of them to be distinguishable, but they also just work well together and provide layers of interest in this setup. I'm also happy with how the driftwood turned out. Now I already have more ideas for how to use driftwood like this and other two gallon jar aquascapes that I want to do at some point. But I think they would also work well in five or 10 gallon tanks. Well, I've included links in the description below to some of the supplies that I've used for this build, so be sure to check those out. Well, thanks for watching. Please hit that like button if you've enjoyed this video. And until next time, remember, it's all about the plants.